Oh, hello. <laughs> so apparently the Super Bowl is coming up. Um, go sports. I am going to try some bomb ass vegan appetizers. I'm gonna see how easy they are, I'm gonna see how delicious they are, and I hope that you guys try them with me. <clears throat> we are going to be making vegan queso, vegan jalapeno, I'm gonna stop saying vegan, jalapeno poppers, buffalo chicken dip, a cheese ball, spinach and artichoke dip, that's five. Oh, onion rings and cauliflower wings. I, I tried to find the trade off between the easiest recipes and the best rated recipes. So stay tuned as I have my own Super Bowl in the kitchen and hopefully um, it goes okay. So I haven't made these recipes before, but I figured if I test them out and like they're good and I can make them, then anyone can make them. So yeah. And because you guys are probably like me where you just don't have time to watch a long video and you might just be interested in like one or two of the things I'm making, I'll put timestamps, like all around here, um, showing the different things that I'm making. If you just want to like fast forward or click on the, the bottom, there should be like a, a thing with the bars. The you got it. All right. We're going to start with the cheese ball because it's technically supposed to ferment for 16 hours and then harden for another four hours. But like, I don't want to do all that. So we'll see. I might... You might, you might have to make it overnight. We'll, we'll see how that goes. I might have to film this again tomorrow. And I've already jacked it up because like I'm not gonna soak the cashews long enough, but we'll, let's just like take this journey together and see what happens. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we have drained and soaked our cashews. And I'm gonna link all of, put, I'm gonna put all of the recipes in the description below. Check it out. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. One tablespoon of lemon juice. Fresh squeezed. Three tablespoons of water. And a third cup of refined coconut oil. Get. So we're going to blend this until it's smooth and creamy. You can see that some like stuff got stuck on the side, so we're gonna take it off and scrape it down and then put it back on the blender. All right, so after a couple times of um, scraping down the sides and blending on high, you can see that it's pretty smooth. Um, it probably would be smoother if I followed the directions and actually let it soak, the cashew soak for longer or boiled the water, but I didn't do that. So now we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. A half cup of nutritional yeast, can't even see this. A tablespoon of garlic powder. Then we're gonna add uh, three quarters of a tablespoon of onion powder. Oh sh! That's supposed to be a teaspoon. God. I done put way too much garlic in. <laughs> Three quarters of a teaspoon of onion powder. Okay, we're gonna have some garlicky cheese. Okay, we're eyeballing it. Uh huh, yeah, that's about three quarters, eh? Eh! And then we're gonna do a teaspoon of salt. Okay, and then we're going to blend this all together. Why can't I get my berry? Uh, so you're gonna have to scrape down the sides a little bit. Um, probably do this a few times and keep blending it on low-ish until it all mixes together. Okay, so it's all blended together, and now we're supposed to let it store in an air tight, oh my gosh, airtight container for 16 hours to let it ferment. And you know what? I'm actually going to follow these directions, and I'll have to finish this one in the morning. I mean, it's kind of airtight. <laughs> it's got a crack in it, but we will set a timer for 16 hours, sort of. Not really. Where are we going to put this? We'll put it right here. Oh god, that's too close. We're going to make the buffalo chicken dip vegan dur. So let's preheat the oven to 350 and get started. For the buffalo chicken dip, 
it requires jackfruit but i live in the middle of nowhere and my grocery stores don't know what that is so instead i bought hearts of palm which i should show you and i will here we go hearts of palm so we're gonna use hearts of palm instead of jackfruit also it requires vegan cream cheese and vegan ranch and we're gonna make it from scratch because um we don't like ourselves i mean because it's fun for the cream cheese, we have soaked some cashews, two cups, in water, and we're going to drain it. Please don't spill everywhere. Cashews into the blender. <laughs> then we're going to add about two tablespoons, well, one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice, and then a little bit of salt, about a teaspoon. That's good. And then we're going to blend it up, scrape down the sides, and blend till smooth and creamy, and then it's ready. All right, so we've gotten to the point where it's a little bit too thick to blend, so we're gonna add a tablespoon of water and hope that that helps. Actually, we're gonna add two tablespoons. All right, so it's definitely creamy now. <clears throat> we're gonna taste it. We're gonna add a little bit of lemon. Yeah, it's too like sweet. All right, so that is our vegan cream cheese. We're gonna go ahead and make the vegan ranch. All right, so we are making a buttload of ranch because it is not just for the buffalo chicken dip, but it is also for the da, 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 buffalo cauliflower wings. So we have two cups of vegan mayo, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, one, two teaspoons of dried dill, two teaspoons of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a little bit of paprika, a little bit of black pepper, come on buddy, and a little bit of salt, and then we're just gonna whisk it. And then we're gonna taste it. That's pretty good. Wow, I'm very close. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I could I could eat a lot of that. Okay, here is our drained hearts of palm. So we're going to cut this and shred this and try to make it look like jackfruit slash shredded chicken. So we'll see how this goes together. But first, like I have to take a bite of this because it's just so good. Hearts Palm is so freaking good. Like in salads and stuff. My parents would put this in salads and I would always like steal them and eat them and they get so mad because they're expensive. Okay, I have to stop. All right, so I chopped up the Hearts of Palm a little bit finer and tried to shred it a little bit more and this is going to be our quote pulled chicken we're going to add a half cup of frank's hot sauce you know what we're gonna do a little bit more that does not look appetizing oh my goodness then we're going to add a half cup of our vegan ranch that we made Then we're going to add a cup of our homemade vegan, oh God, cream cheese. She's thick. And then we're gonna add about a cup of cheddar cheese that I sliced up. This is Daya cheddar cheese. And then we're just gonna combine it. We're gonna make sure the cream cheese is good, has, has been combined really well. So I'm gonna be careful to not make a mess here. Okay, so this is our spread out dip. We're gonna put it in the oven at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes or until it's bubbly on the outside. And we bring you buffalo hearts of palm chicken dip. 
I cannot wait to try this because I'm hungry. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so good. Why don't I make this every day? Mmm. Mmm. Hell good. Make it dairy free. Y'all are geniuses. I'm so glad it works with Hearts of Palm too. Mm-mm-mm. Right, day two of my Super Bowl appetizer. Um shenanigans we are going to start making the buffalo cauliflower wings so we've already chopped up the cauliflower into little florets he's a guilt okay we're preheating the oven to 437 and we're going to make the cauliflower batter so we have a cup of water three-fourths cup of flour, a tablespoon of onion powder, and a tablespoon of garlic powder. It's a little bit more, that's okay. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. We're going to whisk this until it is well combined. Beautiful. So here is our station. We are going to plop some cauliflower. I guess I should move this over. We're going to put cauliflower in the batter. Then we're gonna roll it in the panko breadcrumbs. Then we'll put it on this baking sheet. Bloop. Oh, good. I think my hands are gonna get a little bit messy. Yep. You know what, because we're lazy. We're gonna put it all in there. <laughs> and then we're gonna use a better tool than this, silly willy. We're gonna get them all nice and covered up. Okay, so we're trying to make sure these get really coated. We're going to plop it into here. Just kind of roll it around. And then we're going to stick it on the baking sheet. So we have two sheets of cauliflower like this. We're gonna put it in the oven for 20 minutes, flip them over and bake for 15 more minutes. So while we are waiting for our cauliflower to be crispy, we are going to make the hot sauce mixture. We have this little stove pot on medium heat. We're going to add a whole ass cup, <coughs> god dang it, of Frank's Red Hot. Then we're gonna do a tablespoon of vegan butter. Yeah, I'm just gonna eyeball on that, that looks good. And then we're going to do a tablespoon of agave. Now we're just gonna let this melt and um, stir it after it melts a little bit. We got our sauce cooking. Give, give her a little stir. I'm gonna turn down the heat. All right, here's our cauliflower. So we're gonna flip it and put it back in for about 10, 15 more minutes. You know, you probably should like take more time, but I'm a lazy bones, like to flip it, you know? But I think this is good enough. Ooh, they feel crispy. Okay, so our cauliflower is nice and cooked. We're gonna put it into a bowl, and then we're gonna toss in the sauce. And I'm quickly finding this bowl is too small. God. Oh my god. Wow. That's so delicious. And honestly, not that hard. Will I stop and keep cooking? Or will I just eat all of this? I don't know. I should probably stop and get back to the rest of the stuff I have to cook. But dear my goodness. One more. Mm-hmm. 
Now we are going to start making our onion ring. So we're going to slice, you can't really see onion. We're gonna slice the ends off. And then we're going to peel the skin. We're gonna do this for all three onions. Okay, so now we have our little onions and we're gonna cut about half inch. Can you see this? I don't know, I really don't know. Yeah, here we go. Half inch, um, you know, little circle things. Oh, that's too thick. Oh, okay. We're gonna take two, so this will be an onion ring, so it's two um, layers. This will not be an onion ring. So here are little onion rings. All right, so here are all of our onions. We're just gonna put them aside for now. We have our onions over here, and we're gonna make a dry mix and a wet mix. For the dry mix, we need a cup of panko breadcrumbs. Hello, how you do? Then we need a half teaspoon of ground paprika, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of turmeric. Yeah. Then we're going to mix this together, and then we're going to split it evenly into two batches so that it's easier to deal with. So here are our dry mixes. We're going to put these over to the side. And then for our wet mix, we need a half cup of flour, two third cups of unsweetened, unflavored plant milk. I'm using Ripple. A little bit more because Ripple's a little bit thicker. We're going to do another half teaspoon of paprika, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric. I'm just going to eyeball it. It's probably too much. And then a half teaspoon of salt. And then we are going to mix this together. Where we are going to dip the onions into here. Oops. Oh god. And then we're going to dip it into here. And then place on our baking sheet. So you can see here, these are some of our onion rings. I didn't really take too much time to like coat it. You can totally do that, but I'm kind of losing my um, <laughs> that I had to give, so yeah. Here are our onion rings. I think if I had tried harder, um, they would have come out better. Now you can like dip these in the ranch that we, oh actually, yeah. Or ketchup or whatever. These are pretty good. Oh, they don't look fancy. That's because I'm a lazy piece of <laughs> We taste them. They're pretty easy. No, we're like three for three right now. We only have four more. We're now gonna make the vegan queso. So, we boiled some potatoes. We're going to put two medium yellow potatoes in our blender. We're going to put about four garlic cloves in here. Things a mess, my life is a fucking mess. Yay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, some spices that I prepared. A teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of cassava flour, a dash of turmeric, and a teaspoon of salt. Then here are three fourths cups of cashews that were um, soaking in water overnight. This I can move closer. And then we're gonna do one cup of vegetable broth. And we're gonna get a tablespoon of lemon juice. We're gonna do a cup of coconut milk. Two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, a tablespoon of pickled jalapeno juice, um, a can of chopped chilies. Here we go. 
and we're just gonna blend this up until it's smooth, apparently. Okay, well, I decided that this queso probably should be heated up, because I think it'll help pick, hit, thicken it up. So, I'm gonna turn it on medium heat. I wanna make sure this doesn't burn, so I'm gonna keep stirring. Okay, the queso is hot and it's thickened up a little bit. So we're going to try to not burn ourselves or make a mess. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Guys, I don't think I spilled a single drink. And then we're gonna top, oh, we're gonna top with some pickled jalapenos and some canned tomatoes and chili, which was totally unnecessary and I shouldn't have bought it. And this is our queso. It's okay. Like, I'm not mad at it. I'll eat a little bit more. But it's definitely not... It's not cheesy enough. Um, I probably wouldn't make it again. But, it, I mean, it's not bad. My opinion, I'm sure you guys might like it, but I'm just not going to make it again. Alright, so we're at um, 3 out of 4. That's not bad. Now we are going to make the spinach and artichoke dip. So we are going to add soaked cashews, drained, and drained cashews, or uh, one and a half cups of unsweetened milk, a fourth cup of nutritional yeast, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and a teaspoon of salt. And they're going to blend this up for a bit and make sure it's very smooth. So you can see how smooth this is. We are now going to add some sauteed onions and garlic, about four cups of spinach, We might have to blend this in multiple steps. Yep. Okay, be right back. Let's get the rest of the spinach in there. And then we're gonna throw in two cans of drained artichokes. All right, so we're just gonna pulse this because we wanna leave it chunky. All right, so this is that chunky texture all pulsed and blended up. We're gonna add it to a nine inch pie pan and uh, bake it for 20 minutes until it's all bubbly. Oh my God, that got all over my hand. Guys, I can't reiterate that this is all for me. Please, someone come over and take some of this away from me. 425 degrees, 20 minutes. Okay, this is our spinach artichoke dip. Oh, come on, come on, baby. Oh, no, let's get in there, dude. Hey. All right, let's try it. Can my eyes open? Okay, here we go. That's pretty darn good. All right. Or three for, no, yeah, three for four. No, four for five on like really good things. That's awesome. All right now we're gonna make the jalapeno papas. We have our soaked cashews. We're gonna drain these. I'm gonna add our cashews. Then we have some sauteed garlic and onion. Then we're going to add nutritional yeast, cumin, vegetable broth, and green chilies. So you need two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. A teaspoon of cumin. A half cup of vegetable broth. A can of green chilies. And then we're going to blend this until creamy and smooth. Now we're also gonna add a half teaspoon of salt. So this is our mixture. You can see how smooth it is. We're going to spoon this into the jalapenos that I've already halved and 
semi de-seeded. And we are going to bake this for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. And here are our jalapeno poppers. And I just ate a jalapeno pepper, popper. Um, they're okay. They're not that special, in my opinion. Um, the recipe recommended serving it with baked up toasted tortilla chips, which probably would have given it a better texture, but I just, I don't know. It's not my favorite. Now, did you guys think I forgot about my cashew cheese? Oh, that's pretty freaking good. Guys, I tried to make it look like a football and it just looks like a potato. It, um, so I covered it in crushed pretzels and like vegan bacon strips that I cut up and cooked. And now it kind of looks like death. Um, so I added some roasted red peppers that I cut up. Does it look like a football now? <laughs> oh my gosh. It looks so bad. Check out the hard cheese ball with crackers. How cute is this monstrosity? Oh my god. What side's better? Is this side better? I'm pretty dang good. Mm-hmm. May look like death, but it tastes like it tastes good. Because look how insane I am. Like what the F? Also I have um that buffalo chicken dip that's not even uh, out here. I say my favorite. Buffalo cauliflower wings, buffalo chicken dip, onion rings, and spinach and artichoke dip. Happy 4th of Jul oh, Super Bowl. <laughs> what the fuck? Happy Super Bowl. I hope you guys try these. They were all pretty easy. I don't recommend making all seven in one day or even two days. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit the like for, um, uh, I don't care. Have a good day. Bye.